In this video, we'll use truth tables to determine the truth values of compound mathematical statements. So for example, we'll decide whether these compound mathematical statements are true or false. Let P represent the statement three is greater than two. Q represents five is less than four and R represents three is less than eight. Decide whether each statement is true or false. So our first statement is not P and not Q. P is true, Q is false, and R is true. So not P and not Q is not true and not false, is false and true. So that's false. In B, we have not P and Q. Well, that means that we have not true and false, which means not false, which is true. Finally, we have not P and R or not Q and not P. Now, remember that P is true, which makes a big difference here. We'll talk a little bit about that on the next page. Um, so we have not true and true. Since R is true and P is true, that's not true and true or Q is false, so that's not false and not true. So it's false and true, or true and false, so that's false or false, which is false. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna point this out here because I guess I didn't get around to pointing it out previously. Um, hopefully this pen has enough ink. Here we have a not P and here we have a not P. And since these are both and statements, neither of them is gonna be true if not P is not true. But since P is true, not P is false. So neither of these two statements is going to be false. We can tell right here because not P is a component of each of these sub statements that this whole, that both of these have to be false, so the or has to be false. When a quantifier is used with a conjunction or disjunction, we must be careful in determining the truth value as shown in the following example. Decide whether each statement is true or false, and I've separated these by statement. So A, for some real number X, X is less than five and X is greater than true. Sum is an existential quantifier, so we only need to find one number that is less than five and greater than true. Three is less than five and greater than true, so the statement is true by the and truth table. B, for every real number X, x is greater than zero or x is less than one. We can pick any real number x and at least one of these statements will be true. Every real number is greater than zero, less than one, or both. An or statement is true if one or both compound statements are true. So the entire statement is true. Finally, c. For all real numbers x, x squared is, squared is greater than zero. For all is a universal quantifier. We need to find only one case for which the statement is false to make the entire statement false. Zero squared equals zero, and zero is not greater than zero, so the statement is false. In fact, zero is the only case where this statement is false. 